You all remember Lazy Town? You know, the show with uh, iconic, catchy music. It, it was a show that I grew up with. I, you know, I hold very dear to my heart. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Your heart, being a pirate is a My favorite was the Robbie Rotten villain theme remix. That one was such a banger. And this one's still in my playlist, by the way, in my workout playlist. Uh, how can you not like this? It's so good. Another banger song from the show is uh, the cake one. And uh, although I love that song, I do have some bad memories <laughs> with it. If you do the cooking by the book, then like I seriously can't blame them because if you type in Lazy Town cake song, it's one of the first results. And it looks very harmless until, well, you get into it. But I'm not here to just talk about Lazy Town. I'm here to talk about one particular character in general, and that is Sportacus. The reason why I'm talking about Sportacus is because recently, or like a week or two ago, there's been dialogue, discussion about how Sportacus could take on all of fiction. I don't disagree based on the research. And there's been a lot of research. There have been people calculating. There have been people doing all sorts of mathematical formulas applying to all his feats. So there's that. I just have one friend. I don't know if they, they, they're subscribed, if they watch this video. <laughs> They've been constantly trying to convince me that Goku can beat Spartacus. If I'm going to be honest, not even Spartacus is in that level of characters like Popeye. That if they have a certain element, spinach, or in Spartacus's you know burst, he just needs a fruit and whatnot. They win. They just win. They, they, they don't. They don't lose. I get it. I get it. I really do. I love Goku too. But like. There are some times your favorite character just can't cut it. And I'm not a power scaler, but I, you, you got to give it to Sportacus, man. He, the guy is just nonstop. I'll, I'll go, I'm, I'm going to go down a list of the reasons why I think Sportacus beats Goku. Even in Ultra Instinct. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just had to say it. it. It has to happen. So reason number one, Sportacus wins against Goku. Fruit. This man is powered by straight up fruit, vegetables, whatever. He's fueled by just eating an apple a day. And that keeps a doctor away. You know what doctors use? Needles. You know who's afraid of needles? That's right, Goku. <laughs> So based on power scalar logic right there, he automatically wins. Sportacus just wins by default because apparently he could take on a doctor because of his apple abilities. But let's go deeper. Well, why not? You know, let's give Goku more of a chance here. Um, well, the problem is that back to the fruit dilemma is that Goku, sure, he could eat a sensu bean, but then you have Sportacus who could do 12 backflips in a row simply because he found a raisin on some sidewalk. The, the, the man is just internally, he has infinite stamina and energy. And as we know from the Android saga, um, it is a bit troublesome for Sans to fight a being that just does not run out of stamina. Sure, Cell was defeated, but I'm talking about like future Gohan versus Android 17 and 18. That, that, that is what you're kind of dealing with here. Sportacus wakes up powered up, okay? Goku could be on the side over here, screaming his head off for 10 minutes, trying to dye his hair a new color. And Sporticus, all he's got to do is down one apple and he's bench pressing a mountain. Let's move on to reason number two, agility. Yeah, Goku's fast. He's got that instant transmission and whatnot. But whenever he's doing like, let's, let's go with DBZ Goku, Spirit Bomb. He charges that up and he fires it. Sporticus will just cartwheel out of the way as if it's his Tuesday cardio routine. It does not matter at all to this man. Just whatever comes to mind. But by the way, did you notice that airship he was in? You know that he has many different vehicles and gadgets that um, he powers up with his own pedaling. It's all powered up by pedaling. The, do you know how much energy that takes to, to power up an airship by yourself? Reason number three, battle IQ. Now, I know what you're thinking. Goku, 
Yes, Goku is a battle genius. He may not be smart when it comes to other things, and he's shown a bit as a, you know, kind of a goofball, at least in Dragon Ball Super. I feel like they dialed it up there a lot. But in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, it's clear this man is a genius when it comes to martial arts and fighting. As we could see, like, the Piccolo fight. That was an iconic one. But I need to stress that Sporticus has been dealing with Robbie Rotten and his tricks. His tricks being anything that he could throw at him. Evil robots, cages, nets, any kind of nefarious tricks. Sporticus has been adapting to any ambush or any attack at any moment. Goku thinks he's smart with Ultra Instinct, but Sporticus has been on Ultra Instinct mode since episode one. The, nothing gets by this man. Now I know what you're saying, but but Robbie Ryan, he was able to capture Sporticus. He was able to knock him out. Robbie Ryan is a, he's Omni level, okay? That, that guy could take on the entire uh, Omniverse. So I don't want to hear anything, okay? It's a battle between Titans and we're just ants in the middle. Reason number four, physics. Sure, Goku blows up a planet. That's cute, adorable. Physics does not exist in Lazy Town. Physics is just a suggestion and it's promptly ignored because you have Sporticus here jumping from his airship to grab Santa mid free fall and then throw his little grapple hook to his airship in time to stop all acceleration. Like straight up, there is no E equals MC square because Sporticus never went to physics. He never went to math class. He went to PE. So that's all there is. There's nothing but sports, agility, strength, that's all he cares about. You have a man here who can just jump, laughing in the face of gravity, doing a handstand midair, winking at the camera. It, it just, it does not bother him at all. He is inevitable. He is exactly a force of nature. And it straight up isn't even glazing. It really is not. Because you have a video over here where he's just, playing baseball with an apple, launching it all the way to the moon to fall in a crater within a split second. And they did complete math calculations over it. it, it it's it, it's not looking good. It really isn't. There's, there's no way any of those characters can be in. Popeye, sure. Bugs Bunny, again, sure. But <laughs> good luck with anyone else. But yeah, all in all, I don't see any way Goku is winning this. Yeah, sure, Ultra Instinct, all these transformations, but it doesn't stop Sporticus because he could either eat an apple or a vegetable or take a power nap in his little, little nap pod and he'll come back fully refreshed, ready to go. The man doesn't lose. It, 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 it's never gonna be enough to beat him. It's sad. I, I really love Goku, but this is where it ends. It, it ends, but yeah. Case closed, no more arguing there, right? Who am I kidding? The comment section is gonna have a little tussle here and there for Goku, cause yeah, Goku is a beloved icon, but just gotta put my piece there. Sporticus wins. I, I, I genuinely think that. Who am I kidding? It, this, this is just a little jab at my friend. It, it, it's a little humorous jab, but uh, all in all, it, it is kind of uh, humorous to see two iconic characters that I uh, grew up with being pitted against each other. Homelander, no no joke. Sporticus just runs the gauntlet for him. But Goku, realistically, okay, joke aside, realistically, I think he could give a good fight. Uh, not even in a, like a humorous way. I think Sporticus and Goku could go equal toe to toe. Real, real fun stuff there. But as it stands, I really think Sporticus edges out a bit more. And I'll end it out that. That's all there is.